it's beautiful. This is just the Japanese probing attacks. There'll be far, far more of them where they came from. Alright, Soviets have arrived. We've lost a couple of fighters which aren't going to get replaced. So we will be losing the, the air battle over time. Alright, one of you guys an elite. You are. And you're not entrenched. You head over to defend that spot. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's out supply. Sorry, I thought that was a defensive bonus. Bah humbug. That's the defensive bonus. I was thinking I was on Grand Battle Plan, which actually wouldn't even have been for Grand Battle Plan. That's the defense one. Never mind. I'm being stupid. Let's get defense in depth. We still have the uh, German advisor. <laughs> being freaked out by random Soviet voiceovers. I still don't know what was up with that. That was so bizarre. Have you finished training yet? No, you're still going. We do have another unit that's going to appear soon. In fact, I should just say, join that. Oh, it's because you're not actually assigned to anything. So we'll say that you're going to... I don't necessarily want you garrisoning that. No, don't. Let's do a fallback line, like here. And that's going to mean that this can now be given to you because you have an order, which means it'll automatically be assigned to this and train up. Perfect. And we did that just in time. And the cool thing about sticking them here is they're going to move forwards. Or they'll be in a good position to move forwards, rather. Right, you are going to need to send somebody forwards. Are any of you not entrenched? No, but you can move. Hold on to Beijing, please, people. I would be much obliged to you. Could save up some guns and upgrade to 10 inf. Yeah, right now I think I just want more divisions on the field, though. So, uh, you're not wrong. Yeah, you're not wrong. We'll cancel that. Oh, except that costs um, experience, which I don't want to spend right now. In fact, I should really downgrade, not upgrade. How much would that cost me? 20, I can afford 20. Oh, 11,000, yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Yep, ignore that. No, keep training. I just lost a bunch of training time. Damn it! <laughs> um, right, you go and Habai are assigned to them. Japan declared war on Shanxi, which means I'm going to need to defend you. All right. Um, oh, this is going to lose me my entrenchment, though. The Soviets sent me mountain troops. Ooh, that's quite nice, because those are commandos. So the way that mountain troops work now has changed, too. Those are limited in numbers, but have been improved. Uh, there you go. Oh, I'm seeing the... Why have you... Don't do that. And, wait. I'm shifting everyone over. So your line is going to there. His line is going to there. And your line, which is everyone, is going to there. Yeah, I, I don't understand why bikes are only for the Japanese. Surely the Dutch should be allowed them too. 
hell, even the Germans. There's still an ongoing joke between the Dutch and the Germans. Whenever a Dutchman comes across a German, they're like, hey, can I have my bike back, please? Because when the uh, Germans evacuated the Netherlands, they stole all the Dutch bikes. They could get away quicker. What's that? Non-aggression with Shanxi? Absolutely. Now, Beijing is likely to get bombed to living daylight, so supply will be an ongoing concern here. But it's still acceptable. It's, it's being damaged, but it's still acceptable. I'm down to three factories? Oh, because of my inflation, of course. Yeah. I have to do price controls. I have to. Another naval invasion? No, nothing. I hope Finland gets ski divisions. That would be pretty cool. And Russia. Russia had them too. Because when the Russians transferred the uh, Siberian divisions over from the border with, I guess, Manchukuo uh, to go and fight the Germans when the Germans were invading, uh, I think those were ski troops. Right, Mountaineers. I was going to look that up because there should be... It should say somewhere what your limit is. And what bonuses and things they get. I'm just not entirely sure where that would be. Um, might be a research thing. Oh, here we go. This is new. Special forces. Hot acclimatization gain factor. Cold acclimatization. And then you can either go for advanced special forces, where they take longer to train, but they have more defense and organization, more acclimatization, supply grace, which would be really useful, especially for, like paratroopers, and then soft attack and organization, more acclimatization, or you can just go for more of them. Capacity multiplier plus 5%, true division training time minus 10%, acclimatization, special forces. So yeah, you can have either like super elite special forces, or you can go for more of them. The fact you can't have a 100% marine army is good, but I fear special forces have been nerfed too much. I don't know, it depends on whether they're that strong. For the, like, limitations put on them, it really depends on that. Though it would be really nice to know how many you can actually train. I assume that's a... How is that limited? Is that on a division basis? Or on a... What are these? Brigades? Battalion basis. Probably division. Why go elite if you don't take the cream of the crop? Because you might just need them for mountaineers to hold, like, the Alps. In which case you probably want numbers rather than skill. Alright, the Soviets are in the front line fighting in Beijing alongside us. Marvellous. Beijing is going to be a tough one to keep hold of. And we are 100% acclimatized to heat. So does this have heat bonuses? Weather, very hot, 29 degrees C. Yes, yes it does. Alright, I desperately need to stick some more men in there, so you are going to go over here. You. I'm gonna go here. Why are you attacking them? You fool. Don't attack them. And is any of you really, really tired? Yes. Back off. Amelia Earhart disappears. So Hindenburg survived, but Earhart did not. That guy that I sent over arrive? Yes, because they're still at six. 
This is where the micro becomes intensive. <laughs> Why are you backing off? You turn there. Um, you know what? I probably should have done recovery rate for this army. You can get another one. So I could do recovery rate right now. Can you level up? No, not yet. You know what, screw it. You're getting recovery rate. It's a skill I actually rate really highly. Because it means that I can do this cycling in and out far more effectively than otherwise. You back off. Because they're hitting Beijing hard, but I can just keep on cycling troops in and out. As I am doing right now. The Soviets continue to attack across the border there. What well, seems like a really silly idea, but okay. Whatevs. And you have to keep on doing this because they don't recover our organization if they're in a fight. So by the time they've hit this level, they're not contributing anything anyway. It's just annoying that they're attacking here at the same time. Price controls are done. Good, that's going to give me some of my factories back. Now we can do army reform, because by the time we finish this, we should be in a position to do the first reform. Which is going to make our army significantly stronger, because remember, we are still using the minus 50% defense penalty. Corruption, incompetence, and cowardice are rife at every level of command in our army. Solving this will be a long process. Italy announces claims on Yugoslavia. Okie Possibly build a Beijing, uh, fort in Beijing. Uh, not a bad shout. Yes, I certainly could. You guys done training? You are. Um, I mean, I really want to add you to this unit. I think I'm going to add you to that one. Beijing is getting absolutely hammered. Get in there, guys. Get in there. Hey, Fenshif. Do you have another good guy? You do. You're also being hit, but not as hard as Beijing is. I mean, as we get more and more combat experience, and as we get rid of the bloody reform problems, uh, we'll get better at this. In the early days, we definitely just need to keep on cycling. Like, thankfully, their attacks on the other positions don't seem quite so pronounced. We're going to try and close up the border here, so we're not using up two. We can just use the one. It looks like they're not hitting this spot very hard. That, fl that plane was just floating there. I saw that. The Soviets have apparently developed um, hover technology. Was that a Japanese? That was very Japanese. Yeah, Japanese. You're being attacked again. All of you are not bad. Like, you, you have the... the strength required. They're hitting Tianjin quite hard. Right. Over here, we're just not being attacked, so... You head into Beijing. You head into Beijing. How are we doing for guns? Alright, we're having some serious shortages. So we're going to make just the one more unit, and then we're stopping. Uh, 
Now the problem of this cycling in and out here in Beijing is, of course, that we're not going to be getting any um, garrison bonuses, no entrenchment bonuses. Quickly, chaps, quickly, quickly. This situation is getting rather desperate now. now what I'm trying to do is select. Okay, so if I shift, I deselect. This is getting a bit close. Alright, one of the reinforcement units just arrived. need these two to get there because they're going to be locked into a defense here as soon as they arrive oh no they're moving through it's okay we're, we're, we're gonna get there we're gonna get there should probably have used a strategic move oh did we just move up the soviets actually won and moved up impressive unexpected but impressive Oh shit, Beijing's down to just three men. That's not good. You guys, no, no, no. Wrong bloody way. Oh crap. I think something's gone wrong somewhere. I have a feeling the two healthy guys I sent into here backed out again. I think we got it. I think we got it. Because I'm moving these two into here and then I can shift some of them out. Hopefully they're not attacking here very heavily. Beijing's down to four again. I like it when there's like seven there. That's really what we need. Japan tends to run out of manpower entirely after two million casualties, or they did before the update. Yeah, I know they have manpower issues. Alright, that's enough assault I would very much like to support, but I don't think I'm going to be in a position to. Right, new guys. That would be you. Head over there. You. Head up there. Soviets, could you please put your person in Beijing? He's not currently doing anything sitting just, just behind the front line. Alright, we have quite a few men here now, but there are a lot of them who are severely wounded. I would very much like to pull back. Alright, I think that's more or less stabilized. You support that assault, we'll push them out. That's their capital, which we're taking. I can't believe we're actually pushing back. It's, 50, it's 37. <laughs> would it be bad if it was 57? Also, I'm getting a lot of air experience. Wow. Right. Deselect all of them. Need to be careful that I don't retreat all of them, because if we lose the ones that are actually in the fight right now, we lose the fight. Okay, our front line's looking pretty decent right now. So I would like you going to Beijing. Like you going to Beijing. You're already going to Beijing. Good. What are the casualties like? We have lost 63,000. They have lost 36. But Menguko is going to capitulate soon. Right, we've taken their capital. Good. Oh, that one division is ready. Um... Yeah, send him in. He was exercising because he was one of my newly trained guys. 
There was a reason for it. Oh no, Chan Jin, they did take it. Shit. Um, yeah, don't, don't counter-attack it. It's gone, it's gone. Too focused on Beijing, apparently. Stop attacking. Oh, they're attacking you. That's the Soviets. Fine. Um, right, Beijing. You back off. I mean, we have the numbers at the moment, that's true. We're going to have even more numbers soon. And also, once we get rid of the army reform penalties, like, we're on the defensive. Good luck, China. Uh, good luck, Japan. Uh, apparently they took the capital back. Bugger. Actually, you know what? Let them. Because <clears throat> I was going to say, as soon as these three move into here, I attack with all of these guys and take Chan Jin again against their cavalry. Like now. All of you, counterattack. And then this will be cut off. And they're far too busy with Beijing to really do anything about it. Uh, could I please see the units here? No, you're not going to show me? You, back off. You, back off. We're about to get some more reinforcements too. Soon. The lines everywhere else are looking pretty good though. bringing in reinforcements. Oh yeah, just need the one man there. You can run around, but it's not going to do anything. You're going to be cut off, like, in a minute. Then I can attack you from a third direction. And then you're really screwed. I do, however, need to take Chan Jin. Also Beijing. Yikes. Um... Yeah, you guys. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, reinforcements arrived. Ah, uh, no shit! <laughs> I thought I had that secured. Don't move. Stay right there. Uh, how do I unassign you from the division? Let's go through a garrison. Right, just stay there. You have one job, buddy. One job. And you guys can go and help. Have a commander. That will do. Your job is from there. Take that. Meanwhile, how are we doing elsewhere? We're definitely being pushed back again. How long until this thing that I was doing? Focus, there we go. Ten more days, good.
Just realised they're about to punch through there, and that's going to be bad, because these guys are going to get supplied. Ah, move. Thank you, you cut them off. Good. Good! That's what I like to see. And once this is dealt with, I have all the troops for this again. And we're going to be guarding across a river. Like, Beijing is actually really hard to hold because it's on the other side of the river. So I'm not that salty about having lost it. 